Hey guys, there are a lot of different things you can do in order to help better recover from your workout. Whether you're crushing the weights, doing burnout sets, supersets, or plyometrics, working on your jumps and explosive power, or various martial arts drills, even endurance training, etc. Recovery is essential, especially as we get older. Now in this video, I will be discussing the benefits of one of my favorite tips to help aid recovery, discuss some of the scientific reasoning behind why it's so effective. Despite the actual reasons why it works, I can anecdotally say it definitely helped me recover between workouts, which is why it's a mainstay in my own routine. Although I'm sure what works for me and believe it can help many of you as well, it should go without saying that you should always consult your doctor or healthcare professional before taking any advice related to diet, exercise, and or health. Speaking of health, I do want to thank my sponsor, Let's Get Checked. Since this video is related to recovery, one vital hormone you need to make sure is at adequate natural levels in order to properly recover from a workout is testosterone. With Let's Get Checked, you can easily and conveniently get your levels tested in the comfort of your own home. If for some reason your levels happen to be low, you can start by trying a few simple natural things that may help you get back to optimal levels, which I covered in a previous video. Worst case scenario, if the natural remedies do not help, consider something like TRT, but only after consulting a doctor. For more on Let's Get Checked, make sure to check the description below for information and go to their site, trylgc.com forward slash Viking Samurai, and use my discount code VS30 for 30% off. You can of course get a lot more than just your testosterone levels checked, so make sure to see what else the site has to offer. Now, onto my favorite thing I do to recover between workouts. Epsom salt baths. As far as Epsom salt baths go, they're generally not recommended if you are pregnant, dehydrated, or have open wounds or burns on your skin. Individuals who are suffering with cardiovascular disease should also be cautious. If you have pets, make sure they don't eat the Epsom salt. It's best to keep it locked away in a closet or drawer. Okay, so with those disclaimers out of the way, what exactly is Epsom salt? Well, it's definitely not the kind of salt you'd want to put on your french fries. That's table salt, also known as sodium chloride, and it's made up of elements sodium and chlorine. Epsom salt, on the other hand, is derived from a naturally occurring magnesium sulfate mineral called Epsomite which contains the chemical components magnesium, sulfur, and oxygen. But they're still called salts because of their chemical structure. The Epsom part refers to the place in England where they're from and found in natural springs. But how do they work exactly? Well, just soaking in warm water itself can help relax muscles and loosen stiff joints, but adding the Epsom salts adds so much more. In water, they break down into magnesium and sulfate. The magnesium and sulfate is thought to pull salt and harmful toxins out of the body, which then allows the magnesium sulfates to enter into the body, since both are transdermal. Basically, Epsom salt baths help detoxify and de-inflame the body while improving your magnesium and sulfur balance in the body. Sulfates are necessary building blocks for healthy joints, skin, and nervous tissue, so it's important to get those. As far as magnesium goes, working out causes your body to secrete and therefore lose this important mineral through sweat and urine. Low levels of magnesium may increase the risk of muscle damage and impair recovery. In fact, research suggests that athletes with low magnesium status are not only at an increased risk of muscle damage while exercising, they may also have a reduced ability to recover. This is no good. Furthermore, there is evidence that magnesium exerts a positive influence on your anabolic hormonal status, including testosterone. Therefore, it should go without saying that it is very important to replenish and maintain your levels of magnesium. So how should you use Epsom salts exactly? Well, add the Epsom salts while the water is running to help them dissolve. For standard sized tub, it's usually recommended to use half a cup per 50 pounds of human. So I generally use around two cups since I'm close to 200 pounds of man. You generally want to soak for 30 to 40 minutes as you need about 15 to 20 minutes to remove the toxins and then 15 to 20 minutes to soak up and absorb the magnesium and sulfates. To best take advantage of your time, I find it's a great opportunity to catch up on some reading while soaking. I've also found these rubber ducks to create a peaceful environment which further relieves stress. As an added bonus, I also use them to summon my cat butlers. As far as frequency goes, two to three times a week would be ideal, especially after your workout. If that's not possible, try soaking just before bed and if doing so, add a stress relieving relaxation oil such as lavender to your bath. If instead you choose to soak upon waking, which is a great way to start the day, try an energizing oil along with the Epsom salts in the tub such as cypress or grapefruit. Anyway, hopefully this tip will help get you guys better recovery between workouts. Please comment below on what your favorite recovery methods are.